Hey guys, Kaylee here and welcome back to the Honeystead. Every so often we get to experience something pretty magical with our bees and I try to do my best to bring my camera with me as often as I can. If I don't have my camera with me, I always keep my phone in my pocket because you never know. So the other day we released a new queen to a colony that was queenless and I want to talk about the importance of when you're beekeeping you use your eyes, you use your hands, you use your nose, but something else that is pretty important is using your ears, is listening. So there are a couple of instances where you might actually hear a queen pip. Some people call it pipping, I've heard some people call it piping, I've even heard some people call it tooting. Regardless, that sound can mean a few things. As you will hear in this video, this queen is a mated queen and she is about to be released to a queenless colony. Her sound, her song is, is telling them that she's here and she's getting ready to be introduced into their colony and hope to be accepted. Now listen closely. There are other instances where a virgin queen is getting ready to be released from her, her cell. The, what they're doing is they're singing and, and they're saying it's, it's actually a warrior call. The virgin queen that is still in her cell is starting to pip. And then what will happen is it'll draw the worker bees to that cell and they start to work away and help release her. Now mind you, sometimes there's more than one cell. birthday. Welcome, new queen. There she goes. She's on a mission. 
So then it actually turns into a battle call. And what she's doing, one of the queens, the first one that actually comes out, she starts to sing and she, as she emerges, she goes around and she listens to the other virgin queens that are in their cell. And the battle begins and it turns into a survival of the fittest. Now, as I've researched swarms and how they work and how sometimes there are multiple queens, what ends up happening are the workers actually try their best to keep the queens separated while they're in swarm. And their thought process of keeping the queens separated is actually to better their survival. So next time you go to get into your colony, make sure to use all of your senses and don't forget to use your ears because you'll never know when you get to have an opportunity to hear the queen sing. Thank you guys for watching and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.